On this video, we're reinventing my all-mode go bag. Hello, and thank you for clicking and tuning in. My name is John W7DBO, and this is the Field Radio Channel. And on this video, we're going to go back and readdress a while back, and I'll link the video above. I put together kind of a 100-watt all-mode HF through 2-meter, 70-centimeter uh, go bag that was kind of just really fitting the bill of needing some portability, not lightweight, not soda type or QRP, but just something light enough that can be put in the family camper or put in the family van and uh, be able to play radio uh, while we're doing some other events or uh, kind of as a POTA uh, setup. And so uh, looking at this, I, I don't have that radio anymore. I actually got rid of it and, and got an ICOM 7000. And so I kind of looked at that radio and I thought, man, it's collecting more dust than QSOs at this point. Um, why don't I try and gather together existing gear and see what I can put together? So uh, this is going to fit a need where I have a need for this all mode radio to not be dedicated in a go box, uh, not be dedicated to an installed vehicle. So the, the need I'm trying to fill with this is a 100 watt HF radio that's, that's portable. Uh, it can hook up to whatever battery source it has, but it could go in the trailer. It could go uh, in the side-by-side. -side. It could go in the cab of the truck. It could go on the boat. Uh, it could go just pretty much anywhere I need it to be, and it's not married to a system, a battery system or a computer system. And so it's, it's modular, and that's one thing that I really look for is, you know, is, is stuff modular? Can I make it fit in multiple places? And so uh, the goal of this, this kit now is uh, not going to have a battery because uh, my battery sources vary depending on where it's installed. And then uh, antenna system can vary. And then also the computer system. So this is part uh, one of a two-part series that I'm doing on this. I'm actually working on uh, getting an ultra-portable computer uh, to go with this setup. So with that uh, introduction, let me kind of introduce you to uh, what I've come up with and let's see what you think. Okay, so first thing is, is this is the bag that I've decided to use for this radio. This is a Husky tool bag. Uh, I've had this for quite a while. It's held several things. Uh, this is just kind of a really good wide open mouth bag that's gonna hold the radio great. Okay, so inside you can see we have the radio that's inside its metal case. And then also uh, a little bag with the uh, hand mic and everything in it. Okay, so with the radio out of the bag, here's the radio. It's an ICOM 7000, and I have a West Mountain Radio uh, Rig Blaster, uh, the blue edition, so it's Bluetooth above it. And all of this sits inside this metal case. This metal case is made by TACCOM, and I will link them in the description below. This is a really good company that makes these metal cases, you can see they adjust. Um, you can raise and lower the top part to kind of uh, fit your radio. And these are actually meant to, uh, if you were to put a power supply in one or battery in one, and then you had your radio on another, you could stack it. And then say you have your two meter radio, you could stack above that. So uh, they're meant to stack or uh, shrink and grow. And they have two different sizes. They have one for these kind of radios and then a larger radio. So anyway, so TACCOM is the company and I will link that below. So sitting inside this case, uh, we have the Rig Blaster Blue, which is Bluetooth, which means uh, the reason why I picked this with this for this digital interface, because the 7000 doesn't have a built-in sound card, is I'm going to want to run this via Bluetooth uh, on my laptop, uh, you know, wireless, and so I can just not be tethered to the radio. And then also I can run a tablet and run apps natively on the tablet, or I can, um, you know, connect either way. So I have my tablet or my computer Bluetooth. And so that's part two of this project. This is part one, getting the radio ready to go. Okay, so because the the rig blaster is up front, uh, we'll swing around here in the back. It's got a nice carry handle. Uh, in the back, I was able to squish in the LDG tuner uh, into the back. And then uh, I'll put a little elbow bracket right here, but this is where my antenna line goes in. And then I have my power cable. And so all the other cables are nicely tucked in on this and put away. And so um, this is just the radio, like with everything I do, you know, my power is going to be separate. Uh, my computer system is going to be separate. Uh, this is strictly just the radio. And so I have this uh, modular design. So I didn't want to try and put a, a computer inside this or put a battery inside it. I just wanted a nice uh, portable case, portable unit uh, to fit. And then inside this bag, 
um, I have the handset, the programming cable, and then a Heil headset. And so uh, that all just kind of fits inside this Husky bag. And I, I believe this is gonna be kind of fit the bill for uh, having an all mode uh, HF, you know, two meter, 70 centimeter phone, digital, uh, having a radio that is this small. And I realize when I say small, the 705 guys are like, you know, that's, that's nothing, but this is smallish for me. Um, fit inside this bag and I believe it's going to work great okay so I hope you enjoyed this what's on my workbench uh, video that's essentially what I've been working on uh, getting this radio ready now part two that's going to be coming up next week is actually working out a field uh, computer uh, to go with this so like I said I didn't want the computer installed with the radio because then I can't use the computer separate from the radio or the radio separate from the computer uh, but part two of this build is building a, a field computer that will complement this radio. And so that way I can uh, do digital mode operations uh, in a smaller package um, compared to the ICOM 7200 that I have and a more field rugged package uh, compared to my, my 7300 field day setup. So stay tuned until next week. This is John W7DBO with the Field Radio Channel. Thank you for clicking and tuning in and always subscribe, click the bell, do all those fun things if you wish. 73.